So it is now day 77. Now we're almost closing in on 80 days. Honestly, didn't think it would go this far, but here we are. It is Monday and I am just finishing up work for the day and I thought I would quickly just show you what I accomplished on the weekend. Got lots going on, especially outside. But first, my beautiful skull is now hanging. Now, this is not the plant stand that will be staying here. My dad is still custom making the one for there, but he does have it built. He's just working on the staining of it. So I know the dimensions and everything. So I was able to figure out where the skull needed to go exactly. I'm obsessed. Now let's quickly take a peek outside. My parents were picking up mulch for themselves and they were borrowing my uncle's big trailer to get it all. And so they kindly picked up mine as well and dropped it off so the flower beds are done my back bed which i am obsessed with the hostas are coming up so strong especially like those are the ones i planted last year so i am obsessed with this new extended back bed over here my little awkward bed those hostas are doing well too i did not realize that i was planting two different hostas there i thought it was all the same one but we're gonna go with it. Next year I can separate them. I added that big rock in the back to hold those stones in place because they one had fallen out. So that's a big heavy rock. So we should be good now. Side bed, definitely a hosta that I found buried in the backyard. So stoked about that. All the mulch in there. The other hosta that I found buried this guy I found yesterday, way off just in the edge there, randomly growing. So I moved him here. This bed is looking awesome. Again, mulch, it's all done. And I added this adorable little toad house. Mainly because every time I seem to be weeding in there, I always seem to find a little toad bouncing around. So if the hostas overwhelm it, I will move it in a place where you can see it more, but for now, you stay in there. These beds are done. And yeah, I just added a bunch of grass seed and soil, so hopefully this will grow. This little bed mulch added a tiny little bird bath that we just found laying around when we bought the place like years ago. So Jesse painted it up all nice for me. And I added a bird feeder to the front. So obsessed with how that's looking. And yeah, just this regular bed, all fancied up with mulch. I am super happy with how everything has turned out this year. I do have a big vision for the front, which I'm still hoping I can maybe do this year. And that is extending the front porch so that it goes all the way along the front to the end of the house there. When my parents were dropping off the mulch, I had my dad sort of measure stuff up and we went over kind of what I was thinking and he sort of priced it out for me so I have an idea on what I need to save up for to get that done. And I'm hoping I can still do that this year because I just think it'd be so nice. Put one of Jesse's benches out there because there'll be more space. And I just think it'll look so nice. So hopefully that'll happen. Day 77. So it is now day 81. We have passed 80 days and we're definitely gonna make it to a hundred because the Ontario state of emergency has been extended to the end of June. So we are in the first week of June. So we're definitely gonna make it past a hundred, which is crazy. It is Friday. I just finished work and am enjoying a bit of time outside in the sun. We just had our first hummingbird at my hummingbird feeder. I got super excited, it was so cute. It's been a long time since I've had my hummingbird feeder up and 
occasionally we've been seeing them flying around and so Jesse really got at me and was like, you gotta make more nectar for the uh, hummingbirds because we have a red hummingbird feeder and I like to make my own sugar water because the stuff that you buy in the stores that's dyed red is actually not good for them. So, and it's super easy to make at home. It's just water and sugar. So I finally did that and he was just there and it was so cute. And speaking of birds, our house has a lot of windows, especially in the front. It's like a chalet style with all the big windows. So usually we have a few thuds throughout the year of birds hitting it, which breaks my heart. Most of them are, are usually okay. We've had few actual casualties, but I heard a big thud. I ran out and I found this little female grosbeak who was still alive, but very, very stunned. So I carefully picked her up and brought her to the back and actually put her on this table because our neighbor's cat comes over here a lot and she would have been a goner if she had found her. So I put her somewhere safe where she could recuperate and I kept an eye on her and it took about a half an hour and then she finally flew away and I was so happy. But she was so, so cute but so, oh, so stunned. And also, Speaking of birds, I did a bit of an experiment and this was again a couple weeks ago, but I decided to hook my GoPro up to the top of my bird feeder just to see what happened.
so them's my birds. So I'm just going to enjoy this delicious beer and my Friday evening. Looking forward to the rest of the weekend. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. That don't make it better.
Now follow me around. Can you let me down? Please don't let me down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby, let me down. Can you let me down? Please don't let me down. It works! <laughs> As always, Conan is with me. I got up really early this morning and came to Verona. Crystal and I really wanted to go paddleboarding this weekend, so we did that. And it was an adventure, definitely the most eventful paddleboarding experience I've had thus far. I am going to go over what happened later because it's late. I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, day 82.